In the 20 years that I have been teaching people how to manifest their desires into physical reality, one of the most common obstacles that people tend to face is the inability to clearly visualize their objective within their mind with as much detail as they would like. There are a variety of exercises that we can do to improve our visualization ability. And in this video, I'm going to share a couple of them with you here. So one of the very first things to remember when it comes to visualization is that when you close your eyes, if the only thing you see is dark, that's because you're paying attention to your physical vision. Visualizing requires that you shift your focus away from the physical vision into your mental vision. And just as an example, right now, remember what your mother's face looks like. And if you can bring up an image of your mother's face in your mind, it's not going to be coming through your physical eyes unless she happens to be in the room with you. But in most cases, you're going to be thinking about someone who is not physically present and remembering what the face looks like. What color is her hair? What color are her eyes? What color of a outfit might she be wearing? How tall is she? What shape is her body? Is she a thin person? Is she a round person? Notice all of the different details of that mental image and describe that person to a random person. Go ahead and describe, describe her to me now as you're watching this video. Go ahead and just talk out some of the details about what your mother looks like. And as you do this, Notice that you are describing visual characteristics without a visual person being right next to you. And so this demonstrates what we're talking about with visualization. We're not talking about changing the light that's coming into your physical eyes so that you see something that's not physically present. We're talking about changing the channel on your TV set essentially, away from physical vision into a mental vision. And memory is a highly important aspect of visualization, remembering what something looks like and placing the different things that you would like to, to visualize into the scene together, even when they were never together in physical life. So that's what we're talking about with visualization and remembering what a certain person looks like. It doesn't have to be your mother. It could be someone else in your family. It could be a friend. It could be a loved one. It can be just some random person off the street that you saw or as, as they pass by you, notice what they look like. And then when they pass by you, remember what that face looked like. That's an exercise in both memory and visualization. And the two work very closely together in our manifesting process. So that's one exercise that you can use to enhance your visualization ability. Another exercise that I quite often teach is to grab a small object. It can be anything. It can be the watch off your hand. It can be a little knickknack off the shelf can just grab something that happens to be close by and whatever you're going to use, just go ahead and pick an item right now. Doesn't matter what it is. And then while you are holding the object, first of all, notice the size of the object you have, and it doesn't have to be any kind of a knickknack. It can be your phone. It can be a pen. It can be a book. It can be anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Just notice the size of it. Notice the weight because visualization is not just sight. It's also sound, it's smell, it's taste, it's textures. What does it feel like? Is it smooth? Is it rough? Uh, how solid is it? These kind of kinesthetic characteristics of an object are also important in our visualization practice of manifesting. But right now we're just going to talk about the visual, but know in the back of your mind that 
all of the senses need to be exercised and accounted for. So whatever object you have, notice the size, the shape, the color, uh, notice th any alterations of color, like this particular object has a black band around the neck and there's a red band in the middle of the black band. There are variations along the edges. It's not a completely straight thing. There are ups and downs as we go through. Um, and then also notice how the light uh, reflects off the surfaces. Um, the light here on this particular object is relatively shiny and it reflects in different ways depending on how it's, how it's held. So that moves around. Uh, notice any inscriptions that might be on part of it, any writing or printing that might be on the object that you have. Just notice all of the details and pay really close attention to the details because here's the thing. Memory is about focus. It's about paying attention, perception, observation. The more we observe about an object, a person, an event, whatever it is that we would like to remember and later visualize, the more we pay attention to the details, the more those details get lodged within our memories. So all of that is important. Just keep focusing on all the details and try to memorize every aspect of this object that you're paying attention to, that you're studying and analyzing. And then when you feel like you have it pretty well covered, that you already know what this object is and you know what it looks like, you know how it feels, set it down and then close your eyes and then try to recreate the object within your mind. Can you notice the, the size and the shape and the way the texture is on that object? Uh, the way the colors and the drawings and the words and the inscriptions and any kind of engraving that may, might have been on that object, can you remember where they were, what they looked like, and how they felt? If you have an object or if you were studying an object that is a food object, like a piece of fruit or some other little thing that you could munch on, what does it taste like? What did it smell like? Pay attention to all of the senses. And then when you think that you have remembered as much inside your mind as what you examined, open your eyes again, pick up your object, and study it again and look to see, okay, did I remember this detail? Did I remember that detail? Okay, there's a tiny little mark over here. Oh, and there's another little impression there that I completely missed the first time around. And then just pick up more detail, pick up more detail, pick up more detail, and then just go back and forth, back and forth with your eyes open, with your eyes closed, with your eyes open, with your eyes closed. Just go back and forth, back and forth and memorize as many details about this object as you can. And then as you do this, open, open eyes, closed eyes, open eyes, closed eyes, open eyes, closed eyes, try to use what is called the after image within your mind to maintain a continuity of vision between open eyes and closed eyes. And just keep going with that and eventually you'll be blinking pretty fast to do that. But then at some point, you'll be able to close your eyes and see the object with almost as much detail and clarity as what you did with your physical senses. So this is another exercise that you can use to enhance the power of your visualizations, enhance the power of your manifesting efforts. And again, you want to exercise all of the senses, not just sight, but also sound. Listen to the sounds around you. Do you. Are there birds singing in the trees? Are there traffic sounds uh, going down the road in front of your house? Are there other sounds in the neighborhood that, that you're listening to? Pay attention to what everything sounds like. And again, if you want to do the equivalent of closing your eyes, you can close your ears and try to remember the sounds that way. Again, all senses can be exercised this way. Taste and smell are another thing that you can do. 
In fact, this could be a fun one. If you are enjoying a wonderfully prepared meal, you can take a bite of your food, chew it, notice all of the little sensations in regards to what it feels like, what it tastes like, what it smells like, and then fully experience that bite of food. And then when you swallow it, imagine the next bite. Imagine that you're taking the next bite and recreate that experience within your mind, the entire experience, what it looks like, the, the feeling of moving the, the, the food, the utensil up to your mouth, or if you're holding it that way, what it feels like to bite into it, what it feels like to chew it, what it tastes like, how the taste cascades across your tongue and your taste buds, and then how it feels as you swallow it. And then just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And as you focus on the details, the details will get lodged within your mind and you will remember those details. And the more information, the more details you have in your memory, the more you can make your manifestation visualizations a much more rich and enjoyable experience. The five physical senses, sight, sound, taste, t smell, touch, all of these senses are important, but also important and maybe even more important are the sensations and the feelings of your emotions. So this is another thing that I highly recommend that you spend time noticing, memorizing, and ultimately recreating within your mind are the emotions that go along with positive experiences. If you enjoy any kind of an activity, I like roller skating, that's one of my examples. Some people really enjoy getting a nice relaxing massage. Some people enjoy sitting on the beach. Some people enjoy sitting by a campfire. Other people might enjoy curling up with a good book, whatever activity you enjoy, take time to enjoy the activity. And as you are doing that, pay attention to how you feel with that. Pay attention to the emotions that you have of enjoyment and focus on those emotions. And then imagine those emotions getting stronger and more powerful and growing well beyond the normal experience that you usually have with them. And this is another way that you can enhance your manifesting ability to make your objectives manifest into physical reality much more quickly and much more reliably by just simply focusing on different things. One last exercise that I want to describe to you, and this one we can play with as well. And this is an exercise that I remember reading about a couple of major organizations use it. I know Boy Scouts of America was one of them. I think the United States Air Force was another organization that uses this exercise to train memory and perception. And it works best if you have a friend doing this with you. And basically what the process is, is your friend will lay out a couple different objects on a table and then they'll cover it with a cloth. And then you get to come in and then your friend will uncover the objects, take the cloth away, let you see the objects for a period of time. Maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe it's a minute, whatever period of time works. And then you do everything you can to memorize the objects that are there, their relationship to each other, how they look, and as many details as you possibly can. In fact, here's, here's the thing that I've done. I've set up a number of objects, and we can do this for a short time here. I'm not gonna give you a lot of time to, to look at it, but I'll give you at least a little bit of time. So I've got a picture here of a number of objects, and I'll put it up on screen for you so you can see it steadily, and then look at the objects. There's eight objects in this scene. Plus there is the surface of the desk beneath the objects and there's actually a couple of shadows 
that are also part of the picture that are not part of the collection of objects. Right now, I just want you to focus on the collection of objects. There's eight objects here. There's a battery, there's a roll of film, there's a loop, there's a box of matches, there's a pen, there's a highlighter, a Bluetooth headset, and a little knickknack. So we've got eight objects in the scene, and take a look at what the objects are, where they are in relation to each other, how are they interacting with each other. For instance, the pen is leaned up against one of the corners of the matchbox. The battery is touching the matchbox but sitting separately. The highlighter is in front of everything. Notice the relation of the different objects. Notice the way the light is catching on the different objects. Notice the relative positions. How much space is there between the different objects? And then now we're going to take the picture away. <laughs> and I want you to remember what you just saw. Remember the layout of the objects. And if you had to draw it out on a piece of paper, how much of the details could you draw out on a piece of paper without rewinding the video and going back to it to refresh your memory? This is another exercise that can intensely train your ability to perceive details, to remember those details, and then to later recreate those details in a manifestation effort. Now, obviously, this collection of objects has no use in a manifestation exercise, but it's the exercise that's important. It's the process of focusing your mind on the details and memorizing those details that makes your mind stronger. And the stronger your mind, the stronger your manifestations. So that's it for now. A lot of good ideas here for you to play with, to practice with. You can spend as much time on this as you would like because there is no limit to how far you can improve your visualization ability and by consequence, how far you can improve your manifesting ability. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, be blessed, my friend.